Good evening, and welcome to Science and Sorcery, the show where science communicators play Dungeons and Dragons to raise money for charity. I am your host and Dungeon Master, Dr. Redwin, and I am joined by three of my usual four players, Alex Holtz, Sam Langford, and Khalil Thurloway. Uh, Rachel is in the depths of finishing her thesis, um, so she's not joining us this week, but we love you, Rachel. We believe in you. You can do it. Um... So instead of another episode of Witness to Ruin, instead we are going on a little journey into the past for an interlude with some very strange characters and very random things that are going to happen. Uh, this is officially called Hanf Stengel Must Die Trick, uh, which will become clear to you in just a moment. Um, first, Tonight, uh, everything's going to be very random, and if you, the audience, wants to help influence what's going to happen, um, we are still raising money for the Terence Higgins Trust, the UK's uh, charity supporting people living with HIV and AIDS. Um, if you donate five pounds or equivalent in your currency, you can make a random suggestion for something that should happen, that a player should do, that I should do, and we'll incorporate it somehow, unless it's really mean, in which case we won't. Uh, so don't do that. But if you donate, I will be keeping an eye on the donations and we will incorporate things as they occur. That being said, um, we are not streaming this Wednesday. We will be back streaming again on the 7th of June, just so everyone knows. Uh, so no stream at all next week. Now, without further ado. Let us set the scene. Muck, Blurta, M, and Nimbo all fall asleep at some point in their life and begin to dream of a time long gone, some 220 years before they were ever born. Salor wasn't a country back then, it was uh, a province ruled over by the a moderately evil uh, Toburg Empire. Um, kind of sucked, kind of, yeah, kind of oppressive a little. Um, but independence was a spark in the eye of several people all at the same time. And today we're going to follow three of these people as they attempt to begin the revolution that would eventually lead to Salor becoming a free nation. We find ourselves in Bryn Water, in the autumn, at the festival of Addis, goddess of harvests. And here we find three relatively new friends, Embra, Desiree, and Finley, who are plotting to assassinate the governor of Salor, Dietrich von Hanfstengel. He will be attending the local harvest festival, and they've just found their way there to begin scoping things out in order to prepare for their eventual murder. Would you all like to describe your characters? Desiree, we'll start with you. Okay, so Desiree is an Owlin Druid Ranger. She is pretty short and um, sort of black plumage with like scarily piercing yellow orange eyes. Um, and looks a lot cuter than she actually is. And I apologize if by any chance any Cajun people are listening to it because her accent is going to be appalling. <laughs> I'm not going to apologize to the Germans. Uh, Finley. Uh, so Finley is, on the subject of short people, is a gnome. So he's probably even smaller than Desiree. Um, he is a toy maker. Well, he was a toy maker. Ah, no, he is a toy maker in his heart, but um, he has fallen on hard times because his entire industry has been kind of taken over with government-affiliated, uh, non-magical toy makers, um, because you know that's the kind of government-mandated way of doing it. Um, he makes; he's obsessed with making little kind of figurines and puppets that are kind of animated with a, you know, not life, but like. A magical spark that makes them makes them kind of animated and fun um he's a bit of a but you know he's a businessman but he's also a bit of a kind of scoundrel wheeler dealer of sorts um if you're coming up in the toy industry 
you know, these you can't be sleeping on these streets. So he's got a little glint in his eye, but he's also, you know, a charming salesman. Yep. And finally, Embra, whose ghost we met a couple of weeks ago. Sorry, my usual button did not work. Embra is a dragonborn, um, which we haven't seen featured on a campaign recently as a character. Um, Embra Pozier, uh, a dragonborn who comes from a noble background. Quite, quite annoyed and disillusioned with the, the empire that they have previously served due to uh, not having care for the, the regular folk. Um, quite a righteous individual. Um, yeah, and we did meet them in, in a, a Witness the Ruin episode in the we past uh, as a ghost taking uh, part in a battle in the Sorrow. Um, yep. I am a fighter. Very good. All right, so the three of you are uh, finding yourselves here at this festival. Um, you've discussed ahead of time a way to assassinate the governor without anyone being able to lead it back to you. Uh, but it is a very obscure way that you can assassinate this man. Um, so could I ask one of you to please roll a d6 to see what this this method of assassination is? I'm happy to do that. Yeah, you get. I think let the Chaos Goblin roll the assassination method. Number oh, one. one. Okay. You've decided to assassinate Dietrich von Hamstengel with a comically large courgette. <laughs> Which How you do this is up to you. Kind of comically with... large is a very specific type of large. <laughs> yeah, because like how big if, is it's, that? if it's really if it's the size of a car, that's just big. But like it's gotta be a very specific size of large. Yeah. It kind of rhymes with like the donation that we just got from a one Reginar her suit foot that says eat a very big pumpkin. <laughs> Um, well, you might be able to do that, because as you are, uh, one of you holding on to this comically large baguette, uh, baguette? Courgette. Um, you're finding yourself, um, drawn towards one of the things occurring at this festival. Could someone else roll me a d6, please? Sorry, 2d6. 2d6, okay. 2d6. Tell me both numbers. I'll tell you, do you want to roll, roll one, Khalil, and I'll roll the other one? Sure. Two. Also a one. <laughs> a one. Well, perfect. You find well, yourself the drawn out early. to the pumpkin carving. Um, it's right at the start of the festival. Um, and there are definitely some very, very big pumpkins here. Um, there's like children who are getting some help from their parents carving these pumpkins. Uh, people are collecting the meats, um, bringing them back to one of the like cooking stations that's set up a bit further away to start turning these pumpkins into soup and pie and all manner of other things. Um, it's uh, sticky and loud and seems a great place to just, you know, start having a look around, start trying to come up with ways to kill a man with a large courgette. Is there some kind of, like, competition or, like, judging area? Yes. Is the, you know... Is our target going to be potentially a, a celebrity judge um, um, in, the, in the produce competition? He might be. Uh, go ahead and make an investigation check for me. Don't don't mon. That's a natural twenty. Oh, natural yes. twenty. Yes. Hell yes. Um, there is actually there is a big. I find a uh, flyer. Sign. <laughs> you find a flyer. Yes, you find a flyer. Um, that has written on it in big letters there's this extravagant font um pumpkin carving competition to be judged by governor von hanstengel um 3 p.m today and you can see now uh as well as you were looking around for this flyer which kind of like blew straight into your face so it didn't really take much looking um there are and it's just his, it's, real... it's his face on the flyer being like <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. It's you. It's his drawing of this like old 
dwarven man with several gold teeth and a really long braided beard um and like completely bald like dwalin in the hobbit um and he's just like um because he doesn't know how to smile and he looks slightly manic but this is the governor uh you are familiar with him but yes he seems to be judging the pumpkin carving at about 3 p.m today and there's some real like artisans at work right now uh trying to to carve mostly the governor's face um into pumpkins oh this sounds like uh this sounds like an opportunity guys okay if we can if we can get on the podium then we'll be you know inches away from it i mean i had another idea I do, would there be like a fireworks? This is just turning French at this point. Uh, <laughs> will this? Uh, will there be a fireworks display going on? Um, there might be. It doesn't say anything on the flyer. Um, go ahead and roll another d6 for me, please. You might be able to ask someone. Six. Six. Um. Okay. Yeah. You um come up to a man who looks like he's. Kind of like helping at the festival, uh, sort of knows what's going on. Um, unassuming looking, like, guy, lots of, like, like really bad acne, kind of bad breath. Uh, a young guy in his, like, 20s, who in the modern world would be working, like, a video store rental or something. And he turns around when you go up to him. Uh, uh, yes, hello, my name's Brian, how can I help you? Um, I'm looking for... Whether you've got any, like, firework display on. Uh, fireworks. Um, yes, they are planned for much uh, later in the day, uh, in the evening, when it gets dark. Of course, um, of course. Yes, yes, they will be, um, down by the water. So, you know, as long as the wind stays, uh, stays still, um, should have some lovely reflections as well. That sounds beautiful. It really will be, yes. Uh, anything else I can do for you, you fine folks? No, I think that's uh, it for now. Like... Very well. Well, uh, if I'll be with you, uh, and he is, for I am him, and have enjoy your time at the festival. Like, I just sort of nod. I'm just... <laughs> um, fin uh, Finley is... Uh... Kind of, kind of stunned by this because uh, I, I've always felt he's always felt a certain kind of connection to the divine without really being able to explain it. He's not particularly religious or like you know devoted or anything to any particular deity, but like he's always I don't know he's always felt somewhat touched um, by the divine and, and the kind of the energy flowing through him. Um, so. Even if this guy's joking, he doesn't really know whether to laugh or not. Like, is this guy joking? Am I meeting a god? Uh, you can I've make got an this weird feeling check in my if chest. you want to. You can make an insight check. Yeah. This guy is claiming that he is the god of justice. 18. 18. Um, he seems convinced he is the god of justice and criminals. And as you're like, okay... He seems to think this is true. He looks straight at you. You've got, uh... You've got one of my siblings' marks all over you. Anyways, uh, have a lovely day. Me? And turns around. Uh, 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 let's get moving. <laughs> okay, now, this is what I was thinking. Uh... We get some of these fireworks and we sort of make the rocket propelled courgette. And and then oh and then we we can we can get a, a pumpkin carving you know, entry into the competition mm. and we could use the, the, the courgette, the rocket powered courgette as the nodes mm. with the explosives on the inside. So as he leans in to inspect it, we activate the fireworks and it propels the rocket powered courgette through his face i mean that that works for me i mean i was gonna stick some like sharp thing in there too just to be sure but oh yeah i mean I, i'm sure i could rig up some kind of little um mechanism to 
to, to, to launch it without us being, you know, having to be hands on that because we don't want to make it too obvious. I mean, I mean, I'm willing to it die. It could for the be cause, a tragic but... accident involving like some of the pumpkin carving knives had been left in the pumpkin. <laughs> Ember, meanwhile, is thinking like this seems all very public. Yeah, I was assuming we were not just having this conversation. No, no, the, the, the conversation is fine, but more the the act of killing is all very public. Um, it depends what we're trying to achieve. Mm. Like, are we just trying to, you know, remove this person from government, or, make or a are we trying to make a public statement yeah. of the hollow uh, injustice and uh, illegitimacy of the government? I mean, I just don't like him, to be honest. Which is fair. Which is fair. We need system change. Well, 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 um, uh, very public is fine with me then, but just understanding like, there was like, that balance. I mean, a, a well, rock, I'm willing to have a conversation about it, but mm. I feel like, you know, if we're really serious about this, the more public, the better. I would say that perhaps we need to, uh, how do you say, this is, this is just definitely flitting between French and English. Um, this, this, um, we need to make sure we don't, like, it's just him, not like collateral, which is the danger if we do it in public, no? Well, um, do we know of anyone else around that we don't mind if they... Make a history check to see what you'd know of, of this guy. 23. 23. Um, so at any given moment, the governor could well be surrounded by other people. Um, these people vary from his own security force um, to, like, journalists, essentially. Um, so he is, there is often, he's, he's never on his own entirely but it could either be civilians or it could be people who who are very loyal to the empire's cause is uh is dietrich von henstengel um <laughs> is he known as a a warrior himself or or yes, some kind yes. of yeah. Okay. He was known in like the conquering wars. He was known to be uh, a very good fighter. Um, uh, he seemed to be able to to resist like m quite a lot of magic. Um, and he's just like real good at punching shit. Okay, <laughs> so just a little bonk over the head with a courgette is is not gonna. No, no. Quite possibly We're going to have to really come up with something spicy. I mean, I was thinking, like, that's why we have the explosions involved. It's like, he gets bumped on the head, and then it explodes. I, I feel like it's possibly worth considering who the courgette comes from. And that they're not overly blamed for this. Or they're an asshole, and they are blamed. Well, yeah, it um, depends on who it is. Oh, I can get us a courgette. I thought we had one. You have a courgette. Sorry, I made, did not oh. make this clear. You already have a comically large courgette. Oh. Um, how large but, is this comically yeah, large courgette? It? Yeah. It's like <laughs> a good meter and a half. Uh, it's about, like, it's bigger than Finley. How, and I guess there's no dainty way to put this. How thick is it? <laughs> What's its girth? What's the girth of this courgette? <laughs> I hate that you guys wrote this one. <laughs> Uh, no, it's probably better than some of the We others. didn't write the table. <laughs> no, you didn't. I, actually, all credit to, for the courgette goes to my younger brother. Um, so thanks, Vic. Um, it's about uh, six inches. Okay. So it's so really it's quite long. long and thin. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> it's like a harpoon. So so we we could impale someone with this. Yeah. Um, but I don't I don't think that. We're going to be able to kill someone with just this. Now I'm I'm looking at my items here, and this is going to have to be the finishing blow, I think. Dagmar has seen fit to give me a decanter of endless water. 
I'm thinking that if you rigged up something right, you could use that to be like a sort of hydraulic high pressure harpoon launcher. Wait, so turn the, turn the courgette into a harpoon gun? Maybe, I don't know. I have a crossbow. <laughs> but, but we've decided we're, we're doing this with a courgette for some reason. <laughs> But if we need to, if we need to launch any anything, we can. We, I I feel like I feel like what we'll need is we'll need the the courgette to be like the pièce de résistance at the end of a series of things. Because like to to kill someone who you know has lived through wars with a vegetable, I think you're gonna have to soften them up. You know, like some kind of like. You know, hilarious but dangerous series of events that culminate. Yeah, right. I was with your your twenty two history check earlier, Embra, uh, being a member of nobility yourself, and, and not not the Tobert nobility, the Zalord nobility, which doesn't really exist anymore. You have you were a bit more in those circles, and you have heard that uh, the governor oh, refuses to eat vegetables. Um, but at the same time wastes them a lot of the time and doesn't give them to people who might need food. Um, so yes, this this is how you came up with comically large courgettes. So um, we and looking do, around so as well... Like boulder situation where he's like, his mum's made every vegetable in the world agree to not harm him except the courgette. Maybe. That also, also science dice, science dice. <laughs> it's also like yes, the you same get a science dice. as like pumpkins and squash and marrow, yeah. I believe. Yes, yeah, yeah. So maybe, um, so maybe what we do is we, yeah, we we kind of we 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 we, we basically kill him, and then just finish him off by like ramming this courgette uh, down his digestive system. I mean, to be... oh man! No, I was, I was just... it. Wait, so it's so it's like that long. <laughs> so it's like that round we worked out approximately. No, six inches, Alex. That Across. is probably about six inches. <laughs> Are we talking? We're talking oh, diameter. Oh, I thought you meant circumference. circumference. No, oh. no, I was talking. I was talking diameter. Oh, okay. Yes, okay. sorry. Yeah, I was just like, <laughs> like just force feeding That's someone terrible. a six-inch circumference courgette would be like horrific. It's like a it's like just a really long courgette. So um, the word uh, girth so was used in my defense. I can I can um well I no, I did ask how thick is it? Yeah. Um, yes. I can I I'm, I'm able to throw things with my yeah, with my mind, essentially. I'm gonna throw them pretty hard. Um, and I could throw them pretty subtly. Um, so we could, you know, launch it from the shadows or something. I mean, um, the other possibility is that he's like allergic to it or something, and then we just poison him with the courgette. I feel like that's, I feel like we're stretching the limits of imagination that the, the governor is going to be allergic to marrow. <laughs> but you never know. You don't know. Yeah. You never know. Um. Wait, wait. I'm just, I'm just gonna read some specific. Oh, oh. I I have a spell that could probably help us actually. Okay, question. Um, what, what? Okay, no, you go first. No, uh, Khalil, you go first. I have a spell that could help us because a one a one and a half meter by by six inch. Wow, really mi mixing our units. Um, a. What's that? One and a half meters is, is like five feet or so, four or five feet. Um, four feet, yeah. A one and a half meter by six inch marrow courgette could be reasonably deadly. What if it was three meters by twelve inches? <laughs> we just like comedy, like piano drop it, and just like act me. We could Ewok it. Yeah. Oh <laughs> yes. Love it. Yes. We... So what we, what we do? Oh oh, I've got it! I've got it! What we do is what we do is we 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 
we get another pumpkin, we carve it. And, you know, when it comes to judge it, what we've done is we've, we've, we've hidden a bunch of knives, like daggers inside the pumpkin, but pointing towards the front. And as he leans in to inspect it, we drop the, the double-sized marrow and it swings and knocks him face first into the knives. I mean, yes, I'm up for that. I'm, I'm up for that, but I do have one other. Okay. So, Dagmar. Yes. Would you, de- in the, the context of this fantasy world, would. Yes. Would. What would you define as a corpse? <laughs> Are you going to call is a corpse? Is any dead living matter a corpse? No. Would, so I can't say a marrow is a, 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 <laughs> no. is a it's corpse. It's a fruiting body of a living being. So, yes. Okay. If anything, it's yeah, severed genitals, I guess. Yeah. What? Wait, wait. Although... <laughs> That's a horrible way to think of fruit. <laughs> exactly. So that that makes it more corpse. Well, I guess not. Flowers are severed genitals. <laughs> yeah. Aren't they? Yeah. We arrange just... them nicely in our lounge. Although <laughs> I'm so romantic. <laughs> Pigs <laughs> are sever genitals, which makes sense. Yes, yeah. and have wasps in them. Not the ones you eat, though. Not the ones you buy in grocery stores. They tend no. to be uh, hand pollinated. Um, well, fine. If you won't let me animate dead <laughs> a courgette, uh... <laughs> I have some limits, Alex. Fine. I mean, is is there any kind of like, wait. Hmm. Is there like a, a hog roast going on anywhere or anything like that? Um, go ahead. We'll find out. Go <laughs> ahead and uh, if uh, two more people could roll me at one d six, I'll roll one of them. I'll do the other one. I've got another one. Okay. Another one. <laughs> okay. <just> so <laughs> one. Okay, Khalil, you roll a d six, please, because we've been in the back of the pumpkin carving. You've been walking six. in circles. A six. Okay. Um, <laughs> perfect. Uh, you're looking around for a hog roast, uh, Desiree, and you start to smell uh, smoke. And you're like, ah, oh, perfect. I've got it. And as you start wandering uh, towards the uh, one of the, the, the sides of the Harvest Festival, um, you see what is not a hog roast, um, but an effigy of the uh, former um, ruler of Salor being burned at a stake um, in like a Guy Fawkes situation. Well, this ain't no hog roast. <laughs> I mean, unless he was like uh, someone you might refer to as hog. It's like, <laughs> it's it's a bad effigy. It's like just a straw puppet that's currently like, it, the wood's not really catching, um, but they're trying they're trying to do a guy fox. But that's, I mean, to be honest, this is kind of sad. Uh, <laughs> Next year we'll be burning one hamster angle. I really wanted to animate dead a hog roast. <laughs> oh god. I think canonically um, Finley can't pronounce one hamster angle. <laughs> <laughs> always stumbles over it. Um, can one more person roll me a d6, please? Um, I'm going to say Go Khalil will do it. Oh, Sam's already done it. Sam's doing it. Because <laughs> Khalil's the only one who can not roll ones on these. No, I just rolled a one, so... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's fine. This is a different table. <laughs> um, you see standing um, next to the um, the pile of wood for the effigy um, uh, a woman who seems to be dripping wet. Uh, <laughs> Sam, you look so concerned. Yeah. Very good. good. Um, someone else is like trying to move her away, and she just keeps insisting, "No, no, no! Please, just I'm just I'm just trying to help. Just if you let me help, the wood will catch instantly. I promise." Oh, uh, what what are you trying to do? Oh, hi. Um, well, I'm covered in oil, and the wood's not catching. <laughs> Oh, do so, not jump on there. If I just put some of this oil on there, then 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 it will catch fire, and then we can we can all have a great celebration. 
But isn't isn't there other oil rather than the oil that you are covered in and don't mix those two things yeah. together? The that's like, the fire triangle in the wrong. <laughs> in, in fact, honestly, um, has anyone got a cloak or something? Because you, you probably should get out of those clothes. But obviously, you know, go somewhere private, change. But well, being I mean, covered in to too down with this bottle. Tr trust me, in my workshop, we've had, well, God rest it. We used to have so many uh, precautions in place. Just you know, because every time something goes wrong, you learn, and I learn that working with fire while covered in oil doesn't always work. Right. Well, um, changing your clothes won't really help because the oil is just me. The oil is just you. Is this a boggle? Are we looking at a boggle? Or... A teenager? <laughs> <laughs> just, be a, just be a human woman. Um, <laughs> no, I'm, um, I'm Oily Megan uh, and I have a, a gland condition. Uh, instead of sweat, I produce oil. Oh, that sounds cool. rare. <laughs> I, does, it, does, does it work, work to keep you cool? Because, like, what's the what's the specific heat capacity of, of this oil? Uh, it seems to be similar to vegetable oil. Are you a vegetable? So yes. So when you get hot, you cook rather than cooling down. Because, like, the way that sweat keeps you cool is that the, the water evaporates and the energy it takes to go from liquid to gas is absorbed in, in the form of heat. You know, and I've never really so thought about it. it cools you down. But if you the oil is not going to evaporate until a much higher temperature. I mean, and that's, I believe, why they use it for um, tempering um, steel um, rather than water. Science fact. <laughs> but do you take a D6? Um, Megan does not seem to have ever thought about how she cools down before and is now just sort of staring off into the middle distance, <laughs> processing everything Finley's just told her. Uh, oh, I don't want to use the last ones. Um, <laughs> I've got, so, I've got so really few spell slots on this slots. character. Um, Ooh, can I? No, 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 no. It's silly. It's too early for that. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say. Um, well, I mean, either way, you probably should step away from the fire. Uh, you know, for your own safety. I mean, we could swab this. This. Uh, I'm sure I've got something in my inventory that we can swab it off, so she doesn't actually go near it herself. Um, but she seems to just be what? secreting oil in general. Yeah, I don't think, like... yeah. <laughs> but swabbing but... is not going to do anything. Well, no, no, it doesn't do anything for her, but it does do anything for providing a source of combustion <laughs> that's Fair. not her. Fair. I do have this uh, blanket here. You could uh, wipe that bit down on that with toss the blanket in. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. I just, I just enjoy the effigy burning so much. Um, you know, it's just. It would be a pity if it, the fire didn't catch this year. Uh, right. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um. Takes the blanket, wipes oil off herself, and throws it into onto the pile of sticks, um, which does start to actually catch fire uh, slowly. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cast a message on, uh, I think, Edinburgh. Be like, this, this woman's making me really uncomfortable. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think this is going to help with her do this like in a, in a, in a, in a way that I've, the people I've will got, take seriously. I have to say, I, I, I've got, I've got an idea that's coming together. Um, so let's maybe let's get out of here and have a, have a little chat. What are we doing with this? With so we oil, we ga Megan? gained some of oily lady's oil. Um, you can easily wipe some off. Yes. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Consensually. Yeah. Consensually. She over... seems to be willing to give her oil out. <laughs> I mean, can I give just in case the effigy oil? goes out later, we want to make sure we can get it relit if you're not around at the point. Yes, that's a great idea. Just in case I wander off to the hot dog eating or something. Oh, which way would that be, by the way? The, the oh, I can't remember. Did you say the hot dog <laughs> eating? She did say hot dog eating. Hot dog eating. 
Um, yes, yeah, so you can okay. you can get some oil from Oily Megan. Um, as you begin to walk away, um, you do overhear something, though, uh, being said nearby. Can someone roll me another d6? I've rolled a few. Someone else wants to do Another it. one! Whoa, what I rolled as well, but you go. What did you get, Khalil? Another six. <laughs> okay! In that case, nope, that's fine. It just means you're gonna have two problems to deal with instead of one. Uh... <laughs> You first overhear someone saying, Yes, uh, the governor's, um, he's on his way, he should be here shortly. He's bringing his whole doppelganger army. Um, so we're not gonna know which one's the real one. Um, at the same time you hear this, an old man, hunched back, and a long beard stumbles into your path and goes, Halt! I know who you are. Embra Pazir, Binley Esprew, and Desiree Flit. You are the revolutionaries! I'm gonna punch him oh. in the face. <laughs> okay, roll an attack! <laughs> I'm gonna just let break his nose. Um, just straight up. Uh, right, that's gonna be... As soon as he starts um, saying our names, can I use my um, stuff... Wait, where's it gone? Stuff um... of Birdsong? Stuff a bird song to just make loud turkey noises to obscure. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I got nine, nineteen to punch him in the nose. Okay. And you do. Um. And this is an old fragile man. He just goes <laughs> flying backwards and lies dazed on the ground. Cool. Um. You can continue I, walking I, I if you want. I like over to his hide. Body. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to Finley. hide and pretend that I had nothing to do with any of this. <laughs> Roll a stealth check. Uh, that's an eleven. Eleven. Okay. I mean, you can get a you you get some distance between yourself if, and Embra and Desiree's turkey staff. And and like, if it, I think I was less trying to like physically hide and more yeah. like trying to just act like I was. You wasn't. don't. You're not part of this. Just like yeah, Homer absolutely. Simpson into the head. It's deception. Like, it's a fourteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, so there are some people who lo are looking a little bit strangely at what just happened, but it's a harvest festival. People have been drinking for a while. A uh, fist fight's not out of the ordinary, even if it's a big ass dragonborn punching a crooked old man. Um, and yeah, Finley, you seem to avoid detection. Um, Ember, you just step over the man and continue walking. Um, Someone roll me another 2d6, please. I'm going to try Find roll two different ones up. just to see if I can roll one that's not a one. Please. Yay! Six and a three. A six and a three. Okay. Um, yeah, you... Um, trying to find this, the, the hot dog eating. Um, and on the way there, you assume, uh, you come across one of those little circus tents... Um, that has a sign outside it says, uh, see the man with a mouth in one hand and an eye in the other. I don't know I want to see that, to be honest. That sounds... Are these, are these part of his body or are they just from other people? Yeah, just holding a pair of lips. Mm. <laughs> um, a guy in like a ringleader costume. <laughs> It's like, ah, step right up, step right up. Do, would you like to see uh, the mysterious Max, the man with a mouth in one hand and an eye in the other? No. <laughs> um, I, um, can I cast Minor Illusion? Uh, yes. And uh, create um, a nose on my hand. Yes, and absolutely. Like, oh yeah, I know him. Yeah. <laughs> I knows him. <laughs> oh my goodness um that's incredible well would yeah, you like my, to join the act we could make so much money yeah i mean i'm kind of kind of kind of busy at the moment i'll, I'll pop i'll pop by in a bit you know uh, we're, we're old friends we'll have a catch up all right that sounds like a great plan uh can we come in for free roll per persuasion check with advantage Twenty-one. 
well, I mean, clearly you and Max are uh, related in some some strange way, so uh, absolutely, go on in, go on in. Jeez. Is everyone entering this tent? Um, Is it just Finley? Reluctantly, I don't want to leave the rest of my group, so I will begrudgingly go. I mean, I was just going to offer to stay outside. But... You can keep an eye if you like. And... Yeah, I, I do have good perception. <laughs> um, Embra and Finlay, you enter this tent. It's very dark inside. There's like a couple of lanterns lit and inside sitting in like one of those wrestling robes um, is a stocky uh, middle-aged man who looks up at you as you enter. I guess you wanna you wanna see the hand and the eye, right? I mean, uh, it's not all that new to me. I don't give two shits. You know what? That's pretty fucking weird, and that's quite refreshing. Um, <laughs> I don't know who you want. Up for each one. <laughs> <laughs> Can you smell anything with that nose? Um, I. But I, I like. I try to pretend that I'm sniffing with my hand, like, like. That's amazing. I've got no control over these. And he lifts up his palms, and you can see there is just an eyeball in one, uh, no eyelid, um, and a mouth in the other. And as he shows you the mouth, like a tongue peeks out. Does it say anything? Nope. I mean, up here sometimes, but you know. How does the uh, how does that tongue work? Like, that seems. So it can store things in there, funnily enough. Um, while while this is uh, while this is happening, could I try to cast message um into this guy's head? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, you can. Um, and uh, I want to say, we should we should really kill the government. Oh, that's telling me it's telling me things again. I mean, I hear the man, I hear the governor's coming today, along with a lot of people who who look like him. He rolled a and... natural one on an inside check into the voice in his head. Um, <laughs> This is one of the least ethical things I've done in D&D. &D. <laughs> Actually, no, that's a lie. It's one of the least ethical things I've done on Stroop. <laughs> <laughs> one of the least ethical things I've done on D&D &D today. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, he seems to genuinely stop and think about it. Whilst thinking about it, can I be like, how much can you fit in that mouth? A sword. It's a special sword. Yeah. What about a, what about a comically large? Yeah, yeah, fruit. Comically um, large fruit. Comically well, it depends on if the circumference will fit through the mouth, because uh, it does have teeth. Oh, so you... you know, I can't knock the teeth out. Can you open wide? <laughs> it doesn't go any further than this. Uh, you see, the mouth is trying to open as far as possible, and inside, past the tongue and the teeth, there's just. A large void. If you don't mind, and I will go up and just like try to like spread the like the mouth out. Um would a sixteen hit? Uh yes, just. Okay. Um you take uh one point of piercing damage as the teeth chomp down on you, and you feel the tongue just gently lick the inside of your fingers. Oh. Um That's That's not unusual. But like does it does it spread? Uh not beyond like the surface of the hand. Is it not You're six... not gonna be able to fit the courgette in. Not a six inches. Uh... A six inch wide hand would be ridiculous. <laughs> but I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, have you ever met a Goliath? Yeah. This is a human. Okay. From what you there, can tell. You know? okay. Yes. True. Anyone got and you know what say about monsters with long arms? <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you want to fit in this guy's mouth hand? 
I, I don't know if there's any way that we could... I'm trying to think of a way to inveigle this guy into our scheme. But like, I... I've, I've, you can I've got. You can see he's genuinely. You've been like poking around with the mouth, and he's just yeah. staring into the eye on his other hand. I'm, I'm gonna cast message again. Um, should I kill the say, governor? What you should do is track down the real one, because there's gonna be loads of fake ones. Track down the real one, and just follow him and hug him and get close to him and call out which one he is. I mean, that would be more fun than sitting in there watching people stare at these weird hand and eye. Yeah, people have been looking at us. They've been looking at us funny. We'll 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 show them all. We'll show them all when we when we uh, you know get when get know who the, the real governor is and get him. We're gonna get him. Then yeah, everyone yeah. will know the magnificent Max for who he the really magnificent is. Magnificent Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they'll say. Yeah, they'll, they'll call him Magnificent. He takes his no hand one, no out of you your grasp, Embra, <laughs> and stands up, looks at both of you guys. I have to go. And just walks out of the tent. <laughs> um, <laughs> Desiree, meanwhile, you've been outside um, while this is all happening. And the old man who accosted you earlier has followed uh, you now that he's recovered slightly from getting punched in the face. Desiree Flit, I know who you are. I've seen the future. Oh, and what did the future have to say to you, old man? You and those other two good for nothings are gonna you're gonna assassinate the governor and you're gonna free Salor from the Empire's gracious rule, and I'm not going to let that happen. Okay, you old gunk, but like how do you think we are going to assassinate the governor? He is such a well protected man. Comically large courgette. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Why would anyone do that? I have seen it. I I'm... know it is true. I will warn the governor. I just like look at some passers by and just. <laughs> Make persuasion check. Uh, that's a twenty-one. Yeah, that's fine. Just imagine as you do this, your whole head just turns the other way to do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Six. So it's not Six. very good. It's because you're turning your head the whole way. Everyone's like, ooh. Yeah. They're clearly they're both drunk. Um uh, well, I I think that the governor is the most well protected man here. He has many duplicates. I am un un understood. But you have a great plan, and you will, you will kill him if I don't stop you, and I will. I just need to find with Macrojet, the real you... governor. Okay, so your your plan is to find the real governor, who is well protected. Yes. So that you can warn him about vegetables. Yes. Slash fruit, depending on how you define it as a culinary or... I, I don't you know. know what courgettes are, uh, taxonomically speaking, and I don't care. I care that I must stop you. What's your name, old man? That's none of your business. Well, why'd you come talk to me then? Because I have to stop you. That's... Honestly... Okay. That, that's just right. If I were to try and assassinate the governor... Yes, you are. You should have gone to him, not to me. Like, you're... Your whole planning here, it is silly. Make another persuasion check. <laughs> Three. <laughs> oh, this is my chance to make Alex roll persuasion and deception checks and not have to constantly be super high. Yeah. Um, oh, you just wait. I'm going to stop you. My plan is infallible. I've seen all the possibilities. He starts, like, your slowly... plan is infallible, but you just said that our plan is infallible. It will, it's going to happen. Shut just... up! <laughs> he just keeps walking. I just regurgitate the pellet in his general direction as he runs away.
Embra, Finley, you exit the tent uh, after the Magnificent Max um, to see Desiree, who has recently uh, spat up a Pella. So you see the old man stumbling away. Okay, that so... Guy again. Yeah, that guy. He, punch him, he says he's going to go find the real governor to tell him about our nefarious plan that he has for him. So my thinking is we just follow him and then we find the real governor and well, let him do the work for us. But why do we believe that he knows where he's going? Uh, I mean, I don't, but uh, just an old he, he man seems very nonsense. like he's going to be very persistent about it at the very least. Yeah. Well, we've There's... got two. We've got two people who are going to be looking for the uh, the real governor because Magnificent Max um, just had a bit of a bit of an aneurysm and uh, decided to go looking for for the real governor for no particular reason. I have to perfectly say that I don't think either of these individuals are particularly competent. We have a um, an, an old codger and a washed up circus performer um <laughs> so if i if i if i could um posit a, a plan if we could get somewhere private for a little chat can we find somewhere like quiet yeah. off to the side yeah or i can do this over message whatever um i still i still feel like if we if we can identify who the right one is then uh, but then I, won't necessarily be judging the the pumpkin carving competition which i mean i feel I is a personal injustice to the, all those people who put so much work into those pumpkins to not actually get them judged properly i mean i have i've got this and i hold up um, a kind of golden wand with little kind of baubles hanging off it of various little sizes and colors this um I mean there is there's about a there's about a one in twenty chance that uh this will allow me to detect somebody's thoughts and thus identify who the right governor is. But I could just as equally, um, without meaning to, blow them up. And if we blow the governor up without using a comically large courgette, then the messaging of our act of political violence is kind of lost. Well, I mean, I think it's a good point, but if if we blow one of them up and then just beat the rest of them to death with a courgette, then we still have a good message to say. I, I had had a thought from what this guy was saying. So we know that we are going to have these doppelgangers do like confusing matters now i do as a magic user myself have the ability to disguise myself so i could disguise myself as a doppelganger and then go to like check in to assume to see like oh like are all the arrangements in place i have been sent ahead that's a good shout i can i can do that too if needs be I can also do that. <laughs> we could all. <laughs> we could okay, all here we go. <laughs> we all become governors. <laughs> we all become governors, and then we go and infiltrate the governors, and find out who the real governor is. I think. Okay, I see. I see a, an even stupider route here. Um, we don't even need to kill the governor for real. We just fake killing one of us, and then like persuade everyone that the real governor has died and been replaced with a doppelganger. <laughs> yeah! I love it. I love it. Okay. Okay. Yes. So, mm, what we... Yes. Okay. So how are we going to fake kill one of us with a comically large cucumber? Do we do the... the, um, the, the judging the pumpkin carving thing? I, think I mean... That, I think that's a sensible route. I mean, I can transform into things. So, like, if we were to somehow pretend that we were disintegrated, I could transform into, like, an ant and scurry away. So it's like, oh, no. Okay, so do you want to be the dying one? Yeah, okay. that's what Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, well, what I could, I, what I can do is... And then, uh, I mean, we could also kill the real one, like, slightly later when it's... <laughs> it, it feels like we kill the real one and whatever we can, we can get access and then do the fake out. That works. Yes. Or or the other way around, do the fake out and then Yeah, whatever comes first, yeah. 
Because I, if I have a feeling that if we, because if we're gonna, if we're gonna kill, if we're gonna kill the kill the governor without knowing which the real, what one the real one is, we're gonna have to kill all the doppelgangers in one go. Hmm. Hmm. Do we know anything about the specifics of how doppelgangers work? Or, like, how to identify them? Make an arcana check. Can I help? Do you uh, want to do yeah, it? you can also make an I have arcana no arcana. Check. Do you want me to just roll, or do you want to roll it? Yeah, yeah, I think you roll. <laughs> uh, if it's a nature check, I might be some good. Oh, help. I can help with a bonus action. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah roll with advantage. 16. 16. Okay, let me check. Um, yeah, so a doppelganger, you know, aren't. You're unable to look through their disguise. Um, it is a, a magical uh, trait that they that they possess. Um, they are also capable of reading the thoughts of any creature within 60 feet of it. Um, oh. Hmm. That's bad. That's, it, it, That's very bad. That could actually be very good. Convince they... me of that, Alex. <laughs> okay, okay. No, so I just want to clarify one point. Do they do that ambiently, or do they have to be doing that specifically? Uh, no, they would have to choose to be doing that. Okay, no. Okay. I was going to say, if it was ambient, then like we could pick out the real one by, like, for instance, having someone like going around with murderous thoughts. And then, like, the one that doesn't react violently is the real one. We need to find Max. Yeah. Oh, so now Max is useful. Yeah. <laughs> or, or, we, <laughs> or we somehow... Off. Just, we somehow, like, trick the old man into looking like he's going to assassinate. Um... Okay. Or, like, so what I, what I can do is... I, what I can do is I can... Uh, magically yeet the <laughs> cu the, the courgette um, <laughs> without anyone knowing that it was me. So what maybe what we do is we, we track down the governors. So we're all disguised as governors. We track down the, the, the governor gaggle. And, you know, we, we use Mighty Max to, uh, I'm sorry, Magnificent Max to identify the real governor. Then once we have, uh, I can I can eat this uh, eat this courgette at him, <laughs> and then you know if, if at the same time we can spring an ambush and do something spectacular. I mean, um, okay. quick question: like, what is the mayor, the governor wearing in these pictures we've seen of him? Um, like a very gaudy outfit um, that does seem to be uh, some level of armor, but underneath his clothes. Okay, because, I mean, the other thing we, we could do that's like the very douchey way of... Uh, dealing... Oh, no, my bad, sorry, no armor. Oh, no damn armor. It. I was going to say, I've got heat metal, so we could literally just walk by, heat metal, and then <laughs> run off, and then make it look like the finishing blow was just the courgette, but... Unless he's got like I mean, a jewelry on or something, we can we can still do that just with other. He's got a big chain of offers, Ooh. like one of those mayoral chains. Oh. I like the irony of that because it's like branding him with his own evil. Um... <laughs> but then that that'll be easier to take off than armor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the the old uh, you know trick of wait wait and run. Where where's your like? What does your enlarge power work on? Um, well, I, the enlarge reduce is also something that comes from this, and I hold up the golden wand with little baubles hanging off it. Mm. So I don't know if it'll work. You know, it okay. could it could make it it could make the courgette bigger. It could explode the courgette. What? It could slow down the courgette. I was thinking it, it would help me read the courgette's mind. It could envelop the courgette in a sphere of darkness. It could blind everybody nearby. <laughs> I mean, is it is it worth understanding what the courgette's thoughts and all this process are then? 
I don't think mind. we want to open well, that. I was also thinking we could just like enlarge the medallion so it like weighs him down as we can't roll. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what's the plan? What are we doing? Okay, okay, okay. Um... Oh, if we if we can identify the right one, I can um, place a spike in his mind, and then we I will always know where he is. Okay. Let's just see if I've got any range of shit that helps here. Uh, Do we <laughs> identify the correct one? Because I think that's our main problem right now. Mm -hmm. Do... Lots of killing options. And Do we not know options? Like when he's arriving and how many doppelgangers did you say? Uh, army. An army. I just said army. You haven't heard specifics. Um, you could try to find out in advance. You know from the flyer he's arriving probably within the next hour or so and is going to tour several of the the, the competitions and the attractions um, before uh, visiting the fireworks at the end of the day. Okay. Anybody so. want to grab a drink? And we'll go to a tavern and ask. Sure, yeah. And if we see uh, Magnificent Max, I'll yeah. slip a dagger in his pocket. Or in his back. In his pocket. It's fine. <laughs> he might already have one in his mouth. What mm. um, kind of creature are doppelgangers? I believe they are. Are they aberrations? I believe so. Let me double check. Is that um, aberrations? They are monstrosities, oh, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, easy enough to find a tavern, but let's see what else might be there uh, as you go to get a drink. Uh, Sam and Khalil, while Alex is looking things up, can you both roll me 1d6? On it. Three. Three? That's another six. Ooh. Okay. Um, in that case, I and need one of you to re-roll because we have... Ooh, nice. We have covered all of the combinations of three and or six, so one person can roll again. You want to go again? One. One. Uh, okay. In that case, ah, beautiful. Um, literally, you find a uh, a stand selling um, like worms, like mulled wines and ales, um, right next to the cow pageant. There C is cow pageant, did you say? I yes. Yes, Sam, I did say cow pageant. That's fine. Um, Are they you... do, like those horrific, like, child pageants, but just the cows are no better? <laughs> Tutus and sparkly. <laughs> There's all these, like, really like massive highly hair, strong like... helicopter mums <laughs> being like, okay, okay, then. Now, Daisy, Daisy, remember, you need to work it, yeah? Make eye contact <laughs> and smile, smile, smile. <laughs> Let's see those cows teams. smiling. <laughs> There is an assortment of different cow breeds, uh, and there are the farmers are all acting this exact way, um, Khalil, that you just described. Um, they are all dressed up, um, denoting figures of lore and history. Um, they seem to be at the like impersonation part of the pageant, um, and uh, you can see there is. Um, a man who looks surprisingly like the governor, currently present. Okay, I've just discovered something about my own character build that I made like a couple of weeks ago and forgot. My favorite enemy is monstrosities. Okay. So, is there any way I can leverage that into like being able to pick out doppelgangers? Um, let me double check. It's a bit of a woolly kind of thing in my like oh yeah I'm just checking what's written and I'm happy to adjust things as well if need be all I'm imagining um, right now is supposed to think of this is there's just like a William Shatner asking a cow to describe your perfect date <laughs> <laughs> yes exactly April, April 25th doing cards <laughs> um doing some more cards <laughs> what's your favourite music <laughs> Muzak. Um, oh, so, no. because favorite enemy says you have advantage on survival check checks to track your favorite enemies, I can. I'm happy to leverage that into you know, you'd be able to figure out from the tracks which ones lead to doppelgangers. Okay. And would be able to rule them out. I'll take that. 
So um, is this yeah. one? Does this one look like it's a doppelganger? Yeah. Can I can I check this one? Uh, yeah. Go ahead and make a survival check. Help. Uh, Absolutely. Do I have advantage on that? Yes, what with the help. That's not good because I got a natural one there. Jesus Christ, I'm rolling like bugger. Um, nine. Nine. Um, I you're a, a bit one too... and a two. <laughs> um, you're a bit too far away to be able to say with confidence. Um, could be a doppelganger. Could be the real thing. You're just not sure. Can I try something, Jigs? Yes. Uh, you go I'll, the, I'll, I'll add that to my list when you finish. I'm going to do a vibe check. Um, so to see if... What what I want to do is I want to subtly throw down a card from my deck of illusions. Okay. Um, and depending on how this person reacts, do they, you know, do they act genuinely kind of like oh, this is a, a, a threat um, and I need to you know, get myself safe or is it a kind of... Uh, do, they act, do they seem okay. like some kind of you know, working in protection type right. response? Um, yeah, you need to get a bit closer if you wanted to throw it down near them. But Oh yeah, I'll, um, I'll sneak through the crowd. Yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. go ahead and make a stealth check to see how stealthily you can do this. Going to use my nerd dice for that. Um, that's 8 plus 3 is 11 plus 6, 17 17, absolutely uh, go ahead and roll for your deck of illusions as well then that's not a roll, that's actually is a... it not? is it something you you pick? no, it's you have to draw a card um, oh shit, from a normal sorry deck. so I've opened, I've opened up a little window that let me draw a okay. card that's the go king for of clubs let's uh, have so a the look king of clubs is... A bandit, uh, a bandit captain and three bandits. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you throw this card down very gently. Um, and and these they, they pop up from the card, they like... Appear... Come on, not, your money your like, life, governor! Very close <laughs> to the governor, um, who turns around um, and their face shifts into this kind of blank slate, suddenly growing taller from the dwarven stature into something much more like medium creature's eyes. Um, as several other beings around the doppelganger also shift from not governor looking, but just random other people also shift to show more Oh, there are doppelgangers throughout the place. It's an army. <laughs> are they taking any hostile action? Well, um, I mean, presumably to the bandits, but not as... <laughs> yes, they they will be moving um, towards the bandits to see, like, essentially to, like, threaten them to back off. Cool. So the, the, the bandits are kind of stuck on a loop like a kind of yeah. um, like a Skyrim right. NPC or something, yeah. just like yeah. ah, your money or your life, governor. Nah, your money <laughs> I used to be life, an governor. adventurer, and then I took an arrow, <laughs> and now I'm a bandit, I guess. Alex in the chat calling it a doppelgang. Yes, and I love that. <laughs> doppelgang, doppelgang, doppelgang. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what I'm thinking is <laughs> we need some way of marking the ones that we've seen as doppelgangers. Like, can we? Uh, Ooh. Yeah, marking them. Can can I? Tr yeah, could we try and could I try and like sneak up behind some of the ones that we know that are doppelgangers and like maybe yeah. tie a little bit of thread to them or something? I was thinking of just like throwing paint at them or something, but <laughs> <laughs> I think the tying a bit of thread is more con inconspicuous. <laughs> um, absolutely. Go ahead and make another stealth check. <laughs> uh, could I use sleight of hand? Actually, no, my sleight, uh, yeah, my you're... sleight of hand and my stealth can say. Oh, okay. I mean, you could use sleight of hand as well, but... Uh, that's going to be a 15. 15, okay. Um, so you've seen about four. You managed to get three of them. The one who is a little bit further ahead, um, not disguised as the governor, um, is just going to be... It's just difficult for you to get to them right now because the other ones are essentially looking at their back. 
Um, but you managed to tie a little bit of like red thread um, to three of them. Um, so yes, you have a way of distinguishing those three now. Little Kabbalah bracelets like Madonna in the noughties. Exactly. <laughs> so only one of them looks like the governor, but the other three yes. we can tell but, are. But they yes. could be the governor later, potentially. Yeah. Potentially. I mean, we could okay. just like go around making like a little noise. Uh, we just oh. make a little a uh, little fireworks, not okay. literally necessarily, and okay, then uh, whichever up. ones react. <laughs> On what? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> uh, seeing what I've got that might be of use in this. What are you exploding? <laughs> I'm not doing that. It's just not happening. Okay. Um. Okay. Should we? Should we continue our continue kind of I, in, our I, search I think for the governor? Yeah. Because if we basically every time we see someone who looks like the governor, we do the test. We do, you know, we do some kind of test, and eventually we'll identify the right one. Yeah. What would you de define Dagmar as a small animal? <laughs> I hate these questions. What would you um, What uh... would you define as a corpse? What would you define <laughs> as a small animal? That is the lines I'm taking down tonight. <laughs> I would define a small animal uh, by whether or not its stat block says it's small, or otherwise if it is its real life size is similar to what. Okay. Uh, okay. Essentially, D and D stat blocks. And well, no, no. What, I mean, what I'm thinking here is Dru Druidcraft can make the noise of a small animal. So I was just thinking we could just go around. I can like create I'll the let noise. You make the noise of, okay, in that case, I'll let you make the noise of a small elephant, but it'll be like a very soft elephant but, noise. But like, no, I was thinking, <laughs> I, I basically wanted like an animal that's like makes a distressing noise, like that is like what the fuck that would make them react suddenly, like um, like a fox having sex noise or something. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I. You know what, Desiree is from the swamps. Desiree has heard some shit. Um, yeah. She absolutely can druid craft the noise of fox sex. Um, fox fucking. My brother once woke up in the middle of the night thinking someone was breaking into his house because he heard really loud grunting coming from underneath his window. He was one floor up. He looked out the window and it was two hedgehogs fucking. <laughs> I think there was like a similar thing that was just like one of the halls at my university that my one of my friends was at just like apparently it was just like ducks just had sex outside their window every night and that's just like really it was a ducking spot uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay so my plan is next time we find a fake governor I'm going to see if this works and just make fox sex noise <laughs> and you absolutely can do that um, let's see where you head next. Two players, please roll me uh, one d6. Yeah. Here we go, kill. Five. That's a, another six. That's an, uh, a five and a six is absolutely fine. Um, you come across uh, behind the cow pageant. Um, they have now moved on to the talent portion of the cow pageant. Uh, one of the cows seems to be speaking. Um... Behind the cow pageant, you find um, a shoddily written sign uh, saying, Behold the first flying machine. Uh, and behind which sits a platform with a load of pigeons tied to it. I, I, you know what? I cannot, I cannot resist this. And I use the staff of bird calls to make the noise of an eagle. <laughs> Pigeons startle and lift off, and as they do, um, they actually the platform does actually come with them. Um, oh. But the pigeons are trying to scatter in different directions and eventually end up getting pulled back in um, and sort of get tangled up. And as the platform lands again with all of these pigeons uh, still attached to it, um, you see a couple of small children go running up and start dis like distangling. The, the pigeons, like, checking they're okay. That diss, um, went the, like, I was... <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I 
<laughs> this <laughs> M. <laughs> His little we get lunch joke. tonight, mummy. <laughs> they look up, faces covered in gore. <laughs> Feathers all over their face. This harvest has Untangling is the word I was looking for. And I said this It was a different time. <laughs> Listen, the governor keeps taking all the vegetables and throwing them away and eating all the meat. What do you expect people to do, <laughs> Sam? Um, in the crowd, though, watching this, um, you do see another couple of people who look like the governor. I... Surreptitiously fox sex noise. <laughs> hey. Uh, yeah, both of them startle and um, seem to lose their composure briefly. Um, and you can see it's not as clear as it was with the other ones. Mm. Um, but given you're all keeping an eye out for it and uh, Desiree, you have a, a penchant for monstrosities, you do notice glimpses of what seems to be like they briefly lose control of their form okay um yeah you've you found two more doppelgangers you're gonna mark them so is that five marked or you mark yes. them now then that's five yeah um yeah can, can i can I try and yeah make another stealth check yeah rip them mm. that's an that's eight the cows are going wild over there. Um, and eight, <laughs> cows you... Cows wild, just like, oh. <laughs> we were, these, ki these cows were described as kids. Let's, no. <laughs> it's true, let's not do that. Uh, um, they are adult I... cows. <laughs> yeah, so I got an eight on my yeah. sleight of hand. Yeah. Um, you manage to get up close to the first one, but notices as you uh, approach and looks down as you're like, like you've taken the thread out. Uh, I'm going to say, oh, yeah, first bracelet is free. Here you go. <laughs> make, a de <laughs> make a deception check. I'm a six on the die, but with my plus nine, that's 15. 15, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, it just kind of looks confused at you. Please, Please it would honor my me. family so much if I could give you a bracelet. Um, I'm, I'm still tying it on as I'm talking. It turns to the other um, governor who's nearby and um, says, Oh, yeah, I really hate these locals. Oh, They're no. so touchy. And then, like, wrenches their hand away from you and starts walking off but I you managed to, to tie it on okay uh can i try the can i turn to the other governor and be like governor <laughs> <laughs> make just First like this free. it would honor my house <laughs> make a grapple attack oh i'm not good at that that's a, 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 it would be your strength against their mm -hmm. acrobatics. And I have a minus one to strength. Um, that's going to be a 30. 13. Uh, yeah, sorry. With a 19, the other doppelganger manages to very quickly dart out of the way. Oh, um, I, oh, I could. Do you have a D6? You could add it. I don't. I used that. But I, I am favored by the gods. <laughs> you are favored by the gods. Uh, once per short rest, I can add 2d4. And I'm six behind. So it's doable. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. Come on. Ah! No. No, okay. it's gone. Well, good try. Um, yeah, no. The other dop uh, doppelganger links arms with the first one. Um, and they start walking away. So, are these the only ones that we've spotted and they're all leaving this space? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, why don't we see if we can find the, uh, um, where the carriage is, well, likely park. Because that is presumably where he'll have to come through. Uh, 
Um, yeah, you can go ahead and roll a d6 uh, to see what you what you come up with. Three. Not Three. Okay, you begin um, moving uh, away from the flying machine to find where the carriages might uh, arrive. When Finley, you find your arm being grabbed in a vice-like grip. Oi! And as you turn around, you see your overbearing spinster aunt, Valerie. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, hi, hi, hi Finley. aunt Valerie. Fan yeah, fancy seeing you here. Yeah. I didn't know you were going to be in town. How lovely. How lovely. Have you come to see the governor? I make the fox sex noise behind me. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Using this distraction, I would like to cunning action disengage. <laughs> <laughs> and absolutely, you're you're used to your aunt Valerie. Um, yeah. yeah. I'm and, like, oh, well, I'll, I'll, see, I'll ca catch you up with you later. Just going to see watch him arrive. Do you want to come join me? Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely lovely. Yeah, le le lovely, lovely. Yes, yes. Um, I'll, I'll I'll meet you there. I'm just gonna. Did you want anything from the um, the food stand? I'll I'll be. 30 seconds behind you. You go pretzel. ahead. You find a good spot. Yes, bring me a pretzel, please. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah with extra dip, like always. Yep, of yep. course, of course. Thank you, my dear. You um, I'd like to away. follow her through the crowd. Yeah. Easy enough, um, despite being I don't a gnome, hang out she is I loud. She just doesn't ever stop talking. One of those people uh, with opinions seems... on everything. I, she also seems to know everyone here. So she's saying hello to literally everyone you pass. Uh, oh, hi, Oily Megan. Oh, Brian, lovely to see you again. I oh, still think you're a god. Oh, wonderful. And oh, look at that. That's a magnificent Max, isn't it? Uh, and on that note, as you are reunited with the NPCs you've met so far uh, as the governor arrives, we're going to take a quick 10 minute break and we will be back at uh, 7.35. So see ya very shortly, folks. Bye. Oh dear. Um, I'm sorry to tell you this, Katanga, but I'm afraid that uh, this misery high bluff you keep talking about has just been a figment of your imagination. Can Katanga make a, an insight check? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Do you want me to roll perception? Uh, no point, because that was a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> Um, at, well, it, if I notice this mid smooch, can I flick my tongue out for a quick taste? <laughs> sure. Uh, make a slight of hand check, I guess. <laughs> what Slight is with your tongue? characters and tasting things? <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's under... it's helpful. May we talked about these the, the like these body image issues and like you can't be comparing yourself to like like refreshing beverage cunt of all people <laughs> most of the fleas because i assume dream isn't actually being all that careful no so a lot of the fleas do manage to like jump ship uh and yeah, i don't know what happens if you pour bleach on a flea they might be fine you might disintegrate i don't know yeah. Google it. what happens know. when you bleach a flea <laughs> Live Psycom coming straight at you. <laughs> Look, Psycom's just being. Okay, so. That name. So when the sex muskets sing, God save the queen! They yeah. actually, literally. Yeah, they, they, it's, it's, yeah. they're quite sincere. Yeah. <laughs> A fascist regime, which we approve of. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, I called uh... out with, with my own deep throaty alarm call as well. <laughs> what are you doing down here? Oh, uh, we're just taking a shortcut. You know, just traffic. We're, we're fumigating for sewer clowns here. You can't be here. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I've, been called, I've been called worse, but you better shut your mouth. <laughs> we all know the real sewer clown is Elon Musk and his tunnels, so... <laughs> Kick me off Twitter, Elon, I dare you. <laughs> so, Boomslang will disguise himself as Reginar and be Big Spoon. 
so, I got you, buddy. So, so, so we we cut to a scene where this um, Yuan T, this snake person, is spooning a pudding angel. No, no, snake person disguised as a halfling. Yes. <laughs> oh. You're even bigger a spoon than I remember. <laughs> yeah, I just, um, you know, I just have that energy. <laughs> delightful. Angel delightful. <laughs> and then we fade to Oh, black. is that your full name? <laughs> <laughs> fade to black of spooning. Uh, <laughs> oh. I don't want to miss a thing. <laughs> So you see uh, in the room uh, Eridark Ariesis, who is a pallid elf fighter gunslinger. Do I have guns? Do I fuck? Um, <laughs> what you see is...
guys, we're back. We have been <laughs> talking to shit about dolphins uh, backstage. So just a brief reminder to send all of your dolphin footage to Elizabeth Mills at Marine Mumbles on Twitter. She will thank you for it and possibly murder me on Thursday. Uh, another quick reminder, um, we are 16 pounds of our goal of 100 pounds, um, so if you want something silly to happen during the stream, uh, 5 pounds, and you get to suggest a thing, anything, I'm gonna regret saying that, but we'll try to figure out a way to incorporate it. I think the word is silly. Just in case this show hasn't been silly enough. Yeah, just, exactly. just need that little spice on the top. Yeah, we need a little spice from our wonderful viewers in the chat. Yes. We still need to eat a very big pumpkin. It will be very big pumpkin. Yeah. I immediately brought you to pumpkins and you didn't. No, we can still eat You still didn't eat them. But there is still time. There is still time. You know where to find them. Alex in the chat is asking, like, anything? Question mark. A little spice. Um, DM's discretion. <laughs> <laughs> that is all I will say. I don't know what my level of discretion is right now. Um, no, the three of you, Desiree, Embra, and Finley, are following uh, Valerie Esprou, Finley's overbearing aunt, as you make your way to where Governor Dietrich von Hanfstengel is going to arrive in just a moment. Um, you can see a train of gilded carriages arriving, um, people lining up to watch as the carriages come to a stop and multiple governors step out. Several more governors joining them from the crowd. Uh, there's about 15 of them. One of them is wearing a lovely red bracelet uh, and several others you can see have red threads tied to their um like the backs of their clothing uh are we joining them yeah let's do are we it disguising ourselves yeah let's I, put, do it. I put on my hat of disguise yeah i'm gonna cast disguise self yep, um, and make myself look like uh governor von hans stengel <laughs> yeah that guy <laughs> get you're getting there <laughs> yeah hey Three more Governors von Hanfstengel appear out of the crowd. There is now 18 of them at the front. One of the Governors, not one of you, steps up. Ah, uh, guten Tag. Uh, danke schön for joining us in... It is lovely to be here in Brinwater for the Harvest Festival in this lovely province of Solar. I am glad to see that you are taking on some of the traditions of the great Toburg Empire, such as the cow pageant and the burning of the effigy. I have heard there is many interesting things to be done at this festival, and I look forward to seeing all of them. Most of them. We will at first go and visit some of the attractions before judging the pumpkin carvings, the cow pageant, and the sausage eating competition. Then we will eventually make our way over to the fireworks. Thank you all very much for welcoming us to this lovely town scattered applause as the cohort of governors begins to move towards the flying machine where you've just come from towards the attraction stands i'm gonna make a bold play okay um i'm gonna nudge the the governor next to me yeah. um and uh I'm going to use a sorcery point for subtle spell. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm going to turn to them and say, I would suggest that you uh, point out the, the real the real one of our boss, so I know which one to protect. 
Okay. What spell are you casting? Suggestion. Suggestion. Okay. Um. Right. Go the with the save. The wisdom save. Okay. Let's see. That is a ten. That's a fail. Okay. So uh, uh they <clears throat> yeah they will complete the task to the best of their ability. Okay. Yep. Um. Ah, um, well, that is a little difficult, because we, the point is we all look alike, um, but I believe it is that one, and points to one walking, like, one row back from the front, a little off to the side. Uh, can I use some kind of insight skill, uh, to vibe check to see if they seem off at all well, or I seem know you're doing more this. pompous than the others. You'd be able to hear what Finley was doing, but you wouldn't necessarily have heard the spell being cast, given it was subtle. Yeah, spell. yeah, but I mean enough. But to, you, like... you would, yes, you're a little bit further back, so you you would hear what was being said. And you'd see, you'd see the one that they pointed at. Yeah. Yes. So can I use my survival to try and? Absolutely. Doki. Jesus Christ. Okay, this is an advantage, thankfully. That's more like it. 23. The first was a natural one. Uh, okay. 23. I thought I was rolling hot with the 22, but fair play. There we go. Uh, also, reminder for the, the chat, because I don't think we've mentioned it. They're level 8, and they're rolling worse than they are with their level 5 party. <laughs> uh, <laughs> terrible. And I'm rolling terrible in the campaign, to be fair. That is true. Um, okay, yeah, with a 23, um, you are able to, uh, determine that everything about that particular governor does seem to be a little bit more real to you. Um, the, the chains everyone is wearing are very similar, um, but his just seems to have like an extra glint to it that the others don't it seems to be the real thing okay You're muted. does anyone have any way to weaken uh Who is the muted? like hamper saving throws so I, I for a second color was muted in my end but it's fine oh okay uh we can <laughs> you just throws. blocked khalil out just in your head <laughs> you say something to weaken saving throws yes I, mm, I have silvery barbs, but that's like, like I just like to. Can I drop a bit uh, further behind? That would be handy. Yeah. Yep. And hunters you mark can. him. Um, gonna be hard for you to do without being spotted while you're look like a governor, but you could go back into the crowd and drop this guy's self and do it. Um. There's too many people paying attention to you right yeah. now to be able to get off with this without subtle spell. Okay, then I'll leave that for Cause, now. Because I was going to subtle spell Mind Spike. You can definitely do that. Um, so that's another sorcery point and my other second level slot. So I'm out of level two slots. But Do I have uh, anything staining in my herbalism kit? We'll get to that in a second, Alex. Okay, yeah. So this okay, person has to make a wisdom save. Okay, let's see. Uh, but this is magic, isn't it? Mm-hmm. That's a natural 20, I'm afraid. Mm. 22. Oh, at least they didn't know it was me. Yeah. Um... They do take three, uh, half of 3d8 psychic damage, if you want to Yeah, so that. he gets a headache. Yes. Um, oh, migraine attack. That's a d8, that's a d8. Oh, not rolling, great. Uh, that's gonna be nine halves to okay. four psychic damage. Okay. Four psychic damage. Uh, yeah, the one who you believe to be the real governor is just rubbing his head, looking around at the crowd. Switches I... position with one of the other doppelgangers, but you're able to keep track of which it is. It's not like mm -hmm. you're like the cup game. 
If you place cups over them and shuffle them up, it would be more difficult. Hmm. <laughs> All these governors have a little cup. Over them. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, do I have anything that could, like, make a little mark or stain in my... Uh, you've probably got some, like, reddish berries or, like, elderberries or something that would be able to make a stain. Okay. Um, can I stealth up to him and just kind of, like, make a little mark on... Does, is he wearing, like, a coat or something, or... Cloak? Uh, like an extravagant robe, yeah. Yeah, just, um, sort of just, like, just a little stain on the back. Go ahead and make a sleight of hand check. Sleight of hand? I don't, that's not so good. Um, real dice or d and Beyond, which is least faithful to me today? Mm. Tiger's Eye Dice. I believe in you. Sixteen. 16. Um, okay, let me check this guy's passives. Um, okay. The doppelgangers don't notice you. The governor also doesn't. So, yeah. You you place... It's a small stain. Uh, it's going to be a difficult spot from a distance, but up close. Just like the, the red threads, you'll be able to see. Perfect. And I sort of try and gesture with my eyes to the others yeah. to make them aware of as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's difficult to keep track of which of you is which, except for the fact that you know what you're trying to achieve. Um, so Desiree moving up towards the real governor would be something Ember and Finley caught on to. Um, you've now come up to uh, the cow pageant, the uh, governors, everyone's spending some time looking over all of the cows. Um, and uh, Embra, you're at, you're close to the cow who you noticed uh, speaking earlier during the Talon portion. Um, I, I should have used Oily Meg's oil. Not the... <laughs> Hello, my name is Tom. I am a cow. Oh, um, hi, Tom. Um, how are you, Governor? It's um, it's a lovely day, isn't it? Like you, you're a particularly good example of how to be a cow. I'm really not. Oh, don't look so down on yourself, Tom. Dick's better at this than me. Why is Dick better? He's just a little bit less depressed. You struggle to get it up. Is he just a little bit better? That yeah. Hey, I'm Dick! <laughs> oh! Hi, Dick. Same cow. Hi, Dick. How Hi! Nice to meet you, Governor! Where's Tom go? Oh, uh, you know, we, we trade off. It's me and him, and then sometimes it's Earth Karsh to devour her. But, you know, everyone needs, uh, every friend goes got one. Can I meet Earth Karsh? Uh, well, he, uh, he doesn't always just you know, come out. It's it's kind of random, but uh, he might show up. Is there a way to kind of tempt him out? Uh, attacking is usually a, a good way, but I'll you know, then the he's going to go ahead and roll an attack. <laughs> well, let me pull up my cow stats. Um, can I, uh, Give the help action with my bonus action. Uh, yeah, I can be up to thirty out. feet away. I can be up to thirty feet away. <laughs> yes, so absolutely. You could use a help action to punch a cow. <laughs> so is that advantage? Is that what it is? Yes. Good, because that was a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a nineteen for. Uh, hey, um, twenty. How, roll so your that. damage. Uh, it's roll just, some damage. It's just a straight one six. plus strength, right? Okay. Yeah. Um. This dragonborn All right. punches a cow in the face <laughs> after punching an old man earlier on. <laughs> the cow shakes its head. I am Earthkarsh, the Hi. devourer. Hi, how you doing? I'm trapped in here with these idiots. You're trapped. I'm going to take over the world. Oh, um. But I'm stuck in this cow's body! How did you end up here? I was born like this! So you've always been in the cow? I, I mean, I am a cow! Oh. 
It's just three of us in here. I'm very confused. There's Tom, Dick, and Earth Couch. <laughs> and Earth Couch is a devourer, yes. Um, so, uh, were, were we hearing it, or was this literally just Ember? No, this is, oh, this is a conversation that is happening out loud. How is everybody else reacting around to this governor speaking to a cow that wants to take over the world? Um, so if the other governors around you look concerned, the farmers are, like, giving the cow some weird looks. Uh, except for the farmer who belongs to, uh, Earthcarsh the Devourer, who's okay. like, I, I, I'm so sorry, governor, um, Earthcarsh wasn't meant to come out right now, Earthcarsh, shh! No, no, don't, no, no, don't no, no. tell me what to do, you old fart! Yeah, don't, don't make them hide them true self, that's not particularly a good way to treat a cow. In fact, potentially, this could be, I mean, in, in fact, potentially, this could be the the prize-winning cow. We do a lot of ambition in Tog place. <laughs> this, is, this is three cows in one. It's thrice the cow of these other cows. Go I... ahead and make a, pers this, um, a persuasion check with advantage, uh, Kalu. Oh, 16. Okay. Um, you hear an him <laughs> from behind you and turn around to see yet another governor. Um, Desiree, you've been trained to keep track. This is the one you marked earlier. Okay. I was hearing about this, uh, this cow. Um, three times the cow, you say. That's this, in Toburg, we do like this cow. Once, twice, three times a cow. Three times a dairy? Three times a dairy? Oh, a that's it, yeah. <laughs> three times a daisy. Daisy, that's it. <laughs> um, the real governor turns to you, Finley. Please to announce the winner of the cow pageant. This cow, you announce it as the winner. Uh, I, I will, uh, if there's a little platform or kind yep. of stage mm -hmm. or anything, I will, I'll yep. get up onto the stage, uh, and I'll say, as the very real governor, I am definitely, uh, Dietrich von <laughs> Hempstengel, <laughs> and, like, Finley really stumbles over it. I declare, Tom... Dick and Asgardas the Devourer as to be the finest cow at this pair. Before we go any further, Rachel's in the chat. Hi, Rachel! Hi, Rachel! Ooh. They've just met a cow with multiple personalities. <laughs> One of whom seems to be some kind of demonic entity. <laughs> at this point, can... That's just all cows, isn't it? Embra Governor take out yes. her bag of beans. And Absolutely, she may. Trade, tr like, offer to trade the bag of beans for a cow in a Jack and the Beanstalk reversal. Are you trying to trade the bag of beans with Earthcar should devour? Or just no, any no. cow? No, the farmer. No, no, I mean, do you want Earthcar? Yes, Or I do want you want just any cow? I want Earthcar, okay. yeah. Right, okay. Um. Uh, well, this is a, a prize-winning cow now. I, um. But this is a very good uh, takes bag of another, beans. Takes another look at you and all the other governors. I would be honored to um accept your your purchase. Uh, good, good, uh, governor, sir. Please, uh, Tom Dick and Earthcarsh are are yours. Well. In order to seal the deal, I say we should ceremoniously plant a bean. A great tradition, I'm sure, in, in yes. Toburg. I yes, I absolutely. Um I will I will uh, well, we don't need to take the grounds all trampled up. Takes out a bean, plants it, covers it. Thank you, Governor. I'm, I'm, I honestly, I'm honored. Um, er Earthgarsh, uh, the Governor purchased you. <sighs> oh, 
So what do these beans do? We'll find out in a minute. Um, I assume they're well, just totally normal beans. Totally it's, normal. It's just, it's just soy. It's just, no. <laughs> they well, call um, in certain people. Um, while while this is going on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna message uh, the other two um, yeah. and say, so now that we know, now that we know who the the real governor is, should we set up an ambush using the the courgette? I did like the idea of the rocket propelled courgette. Maybe one or two of us could scamper off, set that trap. Well, uh... then. Are we are we leaving the plan of kill the governor and then fake the death with the courgette? Oh yeah. Because yeah, I, yeah. I, I feel like Arthkaish would kill the governor on our behalf. You could you could message mm -hmm. Arthkaish and tell him that if you kill Governor you take over the world. Yeah. Lie to the cow. I I do that. I say the first step. Uh I I, I yeah, I kind of the, me the voice that comes into their head is a kind of like an evil sounding whisper conspiratorial I say uh, the first step in uh, taking over the world <clears throat> is uh, working your way up the power ladder you need to take out the local authority figure <laughs> destroy the governor the one with the stain destroy the governor that smells of berries Okay, hold on. Let me double check what this cow's. I love the long sniff and then just actually no, I need to consult on what my I've got pretty good cows perception. Cats. Um <laughs> no, you were very it into rolled the well. I loved it. I just rolled a twenty six deception. And it rolled well on its perception check to say to smell the berries you mentioned. Um <laughs> Okay, mysterious voice. <laughs> um, yeah, the cow's gonna try to attack uh, what it believes to be the real governor. Uh, what, straight away, is... just like, straight up, is gonna murder. The yes, <laughs> <laughs> because that's you told it. If you kill the governor, you become king of the world. Natural twenty <laughs> for Earthgarsh the Devourer. Who is doing a charge attack, which means it's going to do 6d6 uh, piercing damage. <laughs> Incredible move, Sam. Incredible. Getting the, but getting I the real shit on damage. Inspired. Um, the governor, the real governor, <laughs> takes 15 points of piercing damage as Earthkarsh the Devourer, who to everyone else looks like a normal Frisian cow. Charges oh, this is and <laughs> uh, the horns pierce through the uh, governor's thick skin and padded clothing. Um, and he uh, uh, goes, I... Yes, oh, I was gonna, I was gonna go and um, help him off the horns, but at the same time, stab it. <laughs> Like just get a, get a knife in the ribs as I'm as I'm getting him off the the horns. Okay. Given you are a rogue, I will allow this. Go ahead and roll an attack. <laughs> Can I have advantage for being like sneaky? Uh, yeah. It's he's he he would be surprised for one of his bodyguards to stab him after he's been gored by the winner of the cow pageant. <laughs> Uh, so this is gonna be a uh, 24 to hit. <laughs> yeah, that does hit. Um, so I'm probably using a dagger, so that's probably on yeah. 1d4 plus my sneak attack. Um, that's gonna be... <laughs> 10, 16, 19 points of, of uh, damage. Is that um, with your sneak attack? Yes, 19 okay, is yes. 3d6 plus 1d4 plus 3. Yeah. Um, so 19 points of damage as I as I pull him off, um, then I'll put him down and <laughs> bonus section hide. Um, okay. I'll try and just like melt. I'll try and just like Homer Simpson into the crowd. Make a stealth check. Uh, are you still trying to be disguised as a governor, or are you dropping your disguise? No, I'll drop it as I Homer. As, as yeah. like I'll get just out of just, sight and yeah. drop it. That will change the DC. So go ahead and make your uh, your hide. Check. Good, because I rolled a 13. 
Um, so the governor knows that he's been stabbed by a, um, <laughs> by a cow, and but then also there's a second wound. But he follows you briefly, but then as he melts into the crowd and drops this guy's self, and your height changes just slightly. You've gone from a dwarf to a gnome. It's not massive, um, but it's just enough to elude his sight. Would, um, can I roll my d100 now for this bean? Yes, at this point, uh, actually, I'd already rolled a d100. Oh, have you? Okay. Don't mind. <laughs> at this point, a belit crashes out of the ground where the bean had just been planted by the farmer uh, and begins to madly attack everything around it. Um... Earthkarsh, still staring down the governor, turns around. You are not coming for my throne! And turns around to attack the Belit. There is now a cow on Belit battle. The other cows are joining in. Um, the farmers are getting the fuck out of Dodge. Desiree, Embra, what are you two doing? Uh, while Finley's been helping the governor and stabbing him. Oh, I'm really pleased with myself. Uh, just okay. like very chuffed no, Sam, with all this. Sam, not you, but no, Emperor. Emperor. <laughs> Emperor is very pleased. Very pleased. I'm sure she is. No one um, suspects a thing. Um, Alex, have you, got, have you Desiree got any thoughts? Um, I am also going to. Um, I'm going to sort of go behind. Um, wait a second. Can I try um, blindness, deafness, the me uh, the governor? Uh, which one? And yes, the the, the real one. Um, no, but blindness or deafness? No, which, which of the blindness and the deafness? Sorry, oh, I should right. specify. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go for um, blindness. Okay, that's what kind of save? Uh, con save, which he's probably good con at. Save. Oh, it's magic, so he has advantage as well. That's another natural 20 for the governor. Boo. Okay, fine. Um, the governor, thankfully, is too confused to realize someone is trying to cast a spell on him. Um, How hurt does he look? Eh, not terribly. This is a tough guy. Um, it is at this point, Desiree, um, part of the reason why your spell failed is that the old man oh. um, from earlier has reappeared with Aunt Valerie. Um, I, I must, Valerie, my dear, I'm sorry, but I must stop your nephew. I'm, Governor, Governor, these people are trying to kill you. Their, their plan's going exactly to plan. As that happens, can I cast Cloud of Daggers? <laughs> that um, who? Um, well, I can, the old man, fuck the old man. You may. Yeah. Is that a save? Uh, no, <laughs> I think it just hits. But it, it like it just seems to just be a concentration spell. It just hits. There's no save. That's incredible. I, I Let me believe. just double check. Uh, yeah. When it enters the spell's area, um, for the first time. Yep. Um. <laughs> well, forty-four slashing damage is enough to kill the old man. Well, um, well, we'll see how much it is. Aunt Valerie. Dear. That's pretty shocking. What's happening? Uh, 13 points damage. He's dead. <laughs> I don't give a shit. He is about Great, as many hit points as a Pika. <laughs> what is happening now, Finley? Okay. You've you've merged back into the crowd. There is chaos reigns as the Belit uh, and the cows battle behind the the army of governors. Um, the doppelgangers are all looking confused and concerned and have their weapons drawn, um, which is another way to distinguish them from the real governor. The real governor has not taken out any weapons, but has now raised his fist and goes, Come on, I'll fight anyone here! Can, can I, and this will probably fail, but can I, I sort of like, so I'll grab my, what weapons do the doppelgangers have? Uh, like normal blades. Okay, so would, would my short- Non-specific blades. 
would my short sword look not out of place then? No. Okay, so I'm going to grab my short sword and sort of put my hand on his shoulder. It's like, we need to get you to safety, sir. Well, we need you to get you to safety, sir. Uh, make a persuasion check. Can I help from the from the shadows? Uh, How? By... Uh, fuck it. I will also cast disguise. I'll cast recast disguise self. <laughs> okay. And I and I will I will um I'll back up Desiree. Um, okay. And yeah, yeah, kind of actual secret service. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. The make roll with advantage then, uh, uh, Alex. Right. I'm gonna need it. Twelve. <laughs> Twelve. Um. Yeah, uh, the governor seems wary, but Silvery bar. comes with you. Oh no! Okay, he he comes with you. He's just he's wary of <laughs> everything. No, no, he failed. Um, he's just wary of everything right now. But seeing the two of you, he he does start to move away with you. Uh, Ember, you do notice that the governor is leaving with. So one person who you believe is Desiree, and the other one you're not sure, but you're assuming is probably Finley. I, I, okay, I'm obviously not saying this out loud because we're with him, but like my thinking is we lead him back to the carriage so that we're basically just in the carriage with him. It's not a bad idea. I mean, you're, I'll, I'll follow your lead on this one. Okay, so yeah, we'll, we'll like take him back to the carriage. Okay. Um, go ahead and make a survival check to try to find a way through the chaos um, as ordinary guards have now shown up to deal with the bullied cow situation. 22. 22. Yeah, you begin to uh, to track uh, your way back to the carriage. Um, you manage to oh, no. avoid on the way um, the uh, Magnificent Max, who is with a wild look in his eyes and a knife in one hand um it's the hand with the mouth that has the knife in it um oh is it holding the knife in the mouth it's no no <laughs> um, like a, like a but you do you do see him switch the knife to his other hand shake the hand with the mouth and another knife falls out that he then grabs and he starts running at the crowd of doppelgangers who look like the governor um, but you manage to circumvent Magnificent Max uh, and make your way back to the carriage. On our way out of the crowd, I'd like to provide another distraction by throwing another card from my um, deck of illusions. And Go that's ahead. Ace, the Ace of Diamonds. The Ace of Diamonds would be a, a beholder. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's pretty distracting. So, an illusion of a beholder appears. Um, and just kind of on a bit of a loop <laughs> and yeah kind of uh, shooting eye rays into the air yeah. like a pyrotechnic display the pigeons that were attached <laughs> to the platform that formed the first flying machine upon the b appearance of the beholder relatively close to them uh, this time panic so much they managed to break free uh, and you can see the children are trying to, like, catch the pigeons. The pigeons are fucking gone. Uh, they're just... Oh, so they've way... broken free of the ship, not they've taken the ship off with them. No, no, they have just broken free off the ship. Okay. Um, you make your way back to the carriage. Um, Beholder, Belites, cows, everything in your wake. My Himmel, this is this is a terrible, terrible town. I hate this place. Let us go. The others can handle handle everything. Yes, let, let's get you safe. Let's get you safe. And I'm gonna message Desiree and go three. Well, are we gonna be move? I think we we'll do it when we're moving. Or, or, but then we don't know where the carriage is going. Should we just get in the carriage and do it? Mm, but we can just do it in the middle of nowhere and throw his body in a ditch. Is my assumption. If we're doing the fake out later with the courgette. Sure. I mean, <laughs> the, this this bear isn't going to last much longer. Okay. Ooh. Fine. 
but like we, there's been a, a a brawl and monsters and okay. everything. Okay. So I'll message Desiree and be like three, two. <laughs> <laughs> What is I'm gonna, everyone I'm gonna, doing? Are you just I'm gonna stabbing jump on him? the governor like that kid from Tropic Thunder? Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't believe I'm there. No. <laughs> Did you not follow them? You I, could have followed them if you wanted to. I was watching the cow fighting the bullet. Okay, that's that's <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> Benley and Desiree are up murdering a man. Desiree, okay. are you also just stabbing him or are um, you I was gonna else? heat metal his amulet. Yeah, absolutely. So he'll um, have to take that off or attack. You actually, as you cast Heat Metal on him, you notice there are multiple other metal points underneath his clothing. Um, he seems to have metal patches uh, over certain body parts. Uh, seem to be the psionic enhancements uh, of some kind Ooh, that also okay. begin to heat. Um, I would like both of you to roll damage for me. Uh, Finlay, I'm gonna assume your attack's gonna hit because he wasn't expecting, but you're you're allowed to roll just to see if you crit if you want to. Um, you'd be rolling with advantage. Um, I don't crit. I roll well, okay. but I don't quit. Okay. Crit. Um, so he, does he need to make um? No, he just takes a, ten, doesn't he? He just takes the damage from heat metal. Yeah, ten fire damage. Ten fire damage. And can I also? Uh, you go, Philo. Sixteen stabby damage. 16 stabby damage. He's looking real rough, um, but he is going to try to get a couple of punches in. And I also, um, as a bonus action, throw on my um, Halo of Spores. Absolutely. That's uh, a so con save? Make a con save, yes. Uh, that is going to be a 13. Fails. Um, four. Four. Okay. Yeah, he's not looking good, um, but he is still up. Uh, he's going to try to fight you off in an attempt to escape. Um, so he's going to take two fist attacks against uh, Finley, which are a 17 and a 14 to hit. One of them will hit. Okay. You will take... Da -da -da. I imagine this is him, like, slamming me back against the wall of the carriage. Yeah, you just feel his I'm, fists. I'm, like, backpacking in. Yeah. You're, yeah. But at the same time, he's surprisingly agile oh, interesting. for a dwarf. Yes, Alex? Uh, oh, wait, no. Okay. Wait, sorry, sorry. Um, uh, if a creature is holding or wearing the object and takes a damage from it, the creature must see, succeed on a constitution saving throw or drop the object if it can. If it doesn't drop the object, it has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. Then, in that case, the first attack wouldn't have hit. Uh, and the second one won't either. Um, trying to get his fists around, and you can see, um, as the, the heat metal is burning through the gloves, his fingers are essentially encased in metal. Um, but he's trying to reach back, trying to punch you, can't manage it. He's trying to kick at, uh, Desiree at the same time. I wrote two natural 19s. Oof. Um, as you're rolling But the this. second one... Huh? As you're rolling like that damage, can I yeah. just like look around going, oh, um, where have they gone? And look around to see if I can see this carriage like leaving. Um, yeah, go ahead and make a perception check. Uh, the second attack will also hit uh, Desiree. I'm afraid. Sixteen. Uh, that is a sixteen. Sixteen. Um, yeah, you're able to see the carriage kind of like moving side to side. Uh, and you assume that that's where they've gone. One and um, Yeah. But, yeah, how much damage uh, do I take, sorry? Yeah, one second. Um, you take... 2d10... 7 points of uh, bludgeoning damage. But both uh, oh, no, right. sorry, not 7. Uh, 17 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Um, yeah, at More, this point, um, Embra, you walk up. Uh, as Finlay and Desiree, you can make another round of attacks at him. This time you will have to roll to attack. Okie dokie. That's gonna be... Uh, except unless you're continuing to heat metal if you still have your concentration. Um, yeah. What's the... Uh, so 17, so it's... 17, so you're aiming for a 10. Yeah. What did 13. you roll? 13. You keep concentration, I think I need Finlay. to look twice, because I got hit twice. 
Yes, you uh, do. Fail. It drops. Okay. Finley? I got a 17 to hit. 17 does miss. As you try to stab and feel your knife like start to bend slightly underneath um, one of these metal plates in the armor. Um, Embra, you open the carriage door uh, to watch Finley on the back of the governor. <laughs> Actually, no, my bad. You watch the governor on the back of the governor yeah. try to stab the governor while another <laughs> governor is doing what, Alex? Um, let's go... Let's just um, bring that heat metal back up. Okay, go ahead and roll your damage. Um, ooh, nice. That was a good roll. 18. 18. Okay, yeah. Uh, definitely starting to get down towards single digits. Uh, Embra, a third governor, enters the carriage. What would you like to do? Am I able to tell who's who? <laughs> you assume the one that two people are attacking is the real governor. Okay, I can um, see Who the... is also now loudly yelling in Toburg uh, language. Okay. Uh, not loud enough to cup to to reach any of the chaos that's happening back there, though. I've got a mole. I'm gonna just attack them with it. Okay, go for it. Roll your <laughs> attack. Um, which is a natural twenty for twenty eight. <laughs> <laughs> um, which is ten points of damage. Only ten. Yeah. When? Oh no! Doubled. Uh. So yeah. Twenty. So that'd be okay. four. That'd be forty-six plus your strength one. Oh no! Oh no! Sorry, I drawn it for the wrong weapon. Never mind. Oh, okay. Never mind. Wrong one. Wrong one. Uh, that is going to be twenty-four. Twenty-four. Okay. Um, that is exactly what you needed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even joking. Crashing um, into this carriage, pulled out the mall, hit yeah. the one I Desiree think it is. And Finley, you watch with slight horror as a third, fourth <laughs> governor enters the carriage, not sure if this is your ally, um, <laughs> until she promptly takes out a massive fucking mole somehow in the space of this carriage and just whacks the governor over the head with it. Uh, he goes still and like twitches slightly for another minute and then just I just I just away. stab him a few more times just to be sure. That's yeah, I, absolutely I get, same. I get two actions so I'm gonna do the exact same as well just stab him again. <laughs> he is pulp. And you and, have pulped the governor. And now for the <clears throat> now for the big finale. So you're gonna be the one that dies, right? Okay, yes. But uh let's also dispose of this body just to be sure. Well no I've got an idea. we can pretend that this was a fake one. So we'll I'll run out of the carriage pretending to be the real one saying oh i've just been attacked by one of my doppelgangers but we killed him and you know this one is also a doppelganger and then i'll pre i'll pretend to kill you i mean i was just going to carry and call the body and to get like flies and rats and shit to tear it apart but oh yeah yeah let's go with that yeah. but, but also <laughs> then then i think we should pretend that you're hmm is, is there a driver on this car or or is nope. it just part oh nope. great okay i was worried are, are there horses that. on this car yes i kind of want to do something really dumb uh like I, I don't think this is actually a good plan but i'm gonna say it just because it amuses me is like i want to like let the horses free and then flip the cart and then stick the courgette through the wheels so it looks like <laughs> the most stupid accident in the world <laughs> Or, or, no. And meanwhile, the guy inside has stab wounds <laughs> yeah. and burn wounds. Crouch and get okay. that accident. I, I have, I have a, I have a, a, a kind of a yes and on that. We crash the car, but what we do is we position the courgette so it looks like he was like eating it in secret. <laughs> and, yeah. the car, and, the, and the crash drove the courgette through. The back of his his mouth. Yes, I like head. that. <laughs> Shame eating courgette, man. <laughs> Shame eating vegetables or fruit, um, <laughs> and got in a car crash. This is one of the main reasons that I don't like lollipops. <laughs> whenever I have a lollipop in my mouth, I'm always worried that I'm gonna like bump into something and it'll go, ah! and then that'll be the thing I die of, and then it'll be on my death certificate. 
I mean, to be fair, this would this I actually think you'd just be called. I think that would just be death by misadventure. Yeah. <laughs> you this might. Works. You might get a Darwin Award though. <laughs> This actually works quite well because if it's like he's wasting vegetables, it makes him look him look even more dicky than he actually is. And also, you know, it will mean that like his allies hate him because you know he's actually a secret vegetable fan. Yeah. If you've just tuned in, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Um... <laughs> We're discussing ways to kill secret vegetable fa vegetable fans, <laughs> except they're actually <laughs> fruits. Okay, I, I like this plan, though. So, I, All right. I fake out Crash. Yeah. And he gagged on a courgette. <laughs> on a comically large courgette. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That is the propaganda victory that the revolution needs. We just lost a viewer at that exact point. <laughs> <laughs> How are we doing it, then? Um, okay. So... I am currently trying to think of what check I make you roll for this. An what awesome check do check. I make them roll for staging a crime scene? <laughs> uh, well, I, I could roll deception, if you'd like. Um. Could, could you make it like a skill challenge and we can like... Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, yep, this is going to be impromptu skill challenge. Um, Finley, go ahead and make a deception check first okay, of all. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make deception to, to try and like yeah. Make it a kind of convincing mise en scene. Yes. <laughs> oh. Can I assist? Not on the skill challenge. Oh. Individual, but it'll be collective success or failure. Okay. No. So, yeah, I need more checks from people. What What are you, uh, what are uh, you bringing to this? 11? Um, mm -hmm. You're trying? It's very difficult because at this moment, um, having realized that the three of you have left and somehow and the real governor, uh, Earth Karsh the Devourer has turned up um, and is getting in your way. Um, ah, yes, Karsh. Hi, I'm a little angry you killed him without me. Can I still be king? Yes. Yes, you can. Perfect. All right, what's over here is just like messing up no, everything you're no, doing. No, 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 no. See, like, see if you go to the front of the cart, because there's horses in the cart, right? Yeah. Um, how the fuck did he get away from the bullet? Like, what? This, this <laughs> the is bullet's just a dead. Freezing, <laughs> Kill the bullet. Guy. Um, is there a borrowing <laughs> super? Is bread. there a spare bridle? There's other carriages you could get one from. I would I like to look for a spare bridle and convince. The uh, cow. You can you can easily find one. Okay. Are you trying to attach it to Earthkarsh? I'm gonna ask the cow if, the, if he will wear the bridle. Make an um, either animal handling or persuasion check. Tell him it's a crown. Yeah, it's a crown. Uh, they're both the same. Uh, <laughs> natural one. Um, <laughs> okay. Can I? Can I? I'm not uh, fucking wearing that. <laughs> I'm. I can help as a bonus action. So can I help in this skill challenge? Uh, yes, you can help in this skill challenge. Will I roll again. Yep. <laughs> Two. Plus three. <laughs> We're rolling so uh, I rolled a natural two as well. <clears throat> Revolution Get is the thing away from me. Uh, no, Earthcrush isn't wanting to wear the bridle. Oh. Uh, um, Desiree, what are you doing? I want to make a survival check to, to yes. sort of like to help with that mise en scene. Um, yeah, go for it. Further. Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Did you roll a two as well? No, I rolled another natural one. Oh. This is like the I've never rolled this bad in my life in the single game. Okay. You have three more checks. You can each make one more check. Um, and Finley Ooh. can help one more time. Okay. Yes. Or, again, you can use a spell or some expendable uh, ability, etc. to get an auto success. Um, this includes have, have a... using magic items. So, uh, I have... Okay, I have a... Uh, I... Let Khalil talk first. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's dumb. Go ahead. I was just gonna ask, what, what, what have we all done then? What were we all planning? To There's do? been a deception check yeah. and a survival check to try to stage the scene, mm -hmm. and an animal handling check to try, or yeah. the persuasion to try to persuade Earthkarsh to participate. I, I animate. Earthkarsh has started trying to eat the governor at this point. I animate oh. dead the corpse and get it to force the watch it through his own head. <laughs> 
<laughs> first time we've defiled a corpse on screen. <laughs> Is it? Is that the first time we've done it? I gagged the, I gagged the skull. Like. <laughs> this is true. You did do that once. <laughs> I feel like this is a lot worse. This is worse. This is worse. Okay. I, I, um, I at the expense of this spell slot, you have one auto success. A corpse of Governor Dietrich uh, von Hanfstengel forces a comically large courgette into his mouth. Um, I would like to use a first level slot to cast Disguise Self again, but this time I disguise myself as a comically large courgette but with arms and legs. <laughs> <laughs> like like the peanut guy. <laughs> um, and I just I, I just beat the shit. I, I, drag, I drag the governor's body out of the carriage into full view and just start beating the shit out of it. Um, as this like humanoid courgette. <laughs> you're giving up on the staging to see <laughs> and you're just a humanoid. <laughs> just be the courgette you want to see in the world. <laughs> you're beating up a courgette with a courgette rammed to its own head. Yeah, so there's, there's a corpse that's like, you know, on a ramming courgette. a courgette into its own head. And then a, another similarly sized courgette with arms and legs curb stomping the corpse. <laughs> and like helping to ram the courgette into its head yep that is a success and i can't believe i'm saying that <laughs> um the chaos has abated somewhat um the belief having been killed by a horde of stampeding cows uh led by earthcar the devourer um, and the city guard having arrived to assist. Uh, the doppelgangers are worse for wear because Magnificent Max did quite a number on them uh, before he was arrested. Um, Is there any chance that just having seen are... what Finley did, though, that I can do my, my, my other skill check if that's possible? Yes, absolutely. Cash I'm check. just saying a crowd is now starting to gather okay. as Finley is I was, doing. I was just thinking before, before that, but if that's... <laughs> If, if they're coming up, then you out, might yeah. be able to sneak it in. Uh, people are like starting to notice what's happening over here, but I can't what would shatter you like to do? all. The whole scene, <laughs> just <laughs> um, the body of the governor. Yeah, and the cow and the horses and and all of us. Right. Well, the, I think the horses um, are free. Are the horses gone. Well, just the, the cow and the governor's body in the car. Okay, um, I need Finley to make me a, uh, is it a deck save or a con save? Con save. That was con, I think. Alright, I will roll one for the cow. That's a big 11. That's a 15 fail. for Earthkarsh. Oh, fucking hell, this beast of a cow. <laughs> <laughs> it's the new removable rod. Yep. Uh, that is, yeah, it's 10 points of Damage. Okay, you have Ow. um, uh, Earthgarsh has reduced, been reduced uh, by about a third of uh, his hit points, um because he's a fucking cow but he's still alive um, Finn, you do end up taking a fair bit of damage but I believe oh, you don't have evasion yet, do you? And that's only dex checks anyways yeah. um, I love the implication um, that is a third of the hit points off the cow meaning that the cow took nothing off of that bullet. <laughs> like, yeah, it soloed that bullet. Yeah. <laughs> Off screen. Um, to, to further sell this story, um, I don't know what story it is anymore. By a giant courgette. Um, I'm going to run towards the gathering crowd disguised as this <laughs> courgette guy. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> and, yes. and, and say, Let Khalil speak. Uh, the revenge of vegetation. Legumes will rise up against the Toberg establishment. This is the beginning of the revolution! The revenge to pollution! And then uh, just scamper off into the distance. Can I, can I yes and that slightly? I use my. Um, uh, the thing. The, I've got a staff that lets people fly, so I want the courgette to fly off. <laughs> <laughs> like at the end of Greece. <laughs> 
<laughs> Desiree, uh, can you roll a d20 for me, please? Um, as you cast, use your uh, Ring of the Swift to 19. cast Fly, that's fine, um, on Finley de Courgette, who takes up into the sky and disappears over the city of Brindwood. <laughs> a true revolution was born this day. <laughs> Um, Embra and Desiree, back where uh, you are, um, you see Brian. Oh, hi, Avatar Brian. Avatar of Idol. Well, that was a great time. Um, real chaotic. Looking forward to seeing how it plays out. Not sure you needed to, to... Not sure you need to kill the Prophet, but, you know. He should have seen it coming. Good work, uh, good work, Embra. Good work, Desiree. And, uh, tell Finley, um, I'm real glad Pella's looking out for her. For him. Well, I'll see you around. Um, and Brian vanishes. Hi, Brian. What god that is? Tell what's Pella again? Pella is the, the, the deity of knowledge. Mm. Um,. I think I, at this point, like, presumably, like, we are, well, I particularly am still at the crime scene in full, like, disguise form, so I'm just gonna, like, yeah. do the original plan and just, like, wild shape into, like, a beetle or something and just fly away. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving Embra alone. Embra, what do you do? I feel like I would just kind of merge back into the crowd. And like not try and make a big deal out of anything. I've killed a prophet. Um, I don't want to make my. I, I I don't want to be seen now. Um, and you do. And uh, the festival of Addis this year is um cancelled because <laughs> of the bullied cow stampede and the governor being assassinated by courgette people. Um, <laughs> but. A revolution does spark in the hearts of those who witnessed it. Uh, Aunt Valerie, first among them to take up an iron rod against the Toburg Empire. Uh, led on potentially by a little bit of pushing from Brian, um, who does seem to be meddling a little. Um, Magnificent Max was found not guilty for reasons of insanity and in his murder of multiple doppelgangers. And Earthcar should devour uh, and Tom and Dick were sent out to pasture um, while still occasionally escaping in an attempt to rule the world. And that is where we're going to leave our valiant leaders of the revolution uh, for now. We might come back to them at some point. Uh, there might be a, a mysterious fourth member um, if one of the other players can't make it at any point, and Rachel can. But thank you everyone so much for watching this utter nonsense. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. Uh, thank you everyone who has donated. Um, we the fundraiser is going to be open for another three days if you still want to donate. Um, with that, have a lovely evening. We will be back streaming on the 7th of June. Um, so no stream next week. And Sam, are we raiding anyone? Yes, we are. We're going to go over and roll uh, raid Roll for Good, who are raising money for charity through a whole bunch of TTRB. Gee, streams this weekend, so I'm just going to set up. Um, they've been going since yesterday. I think they've got about 90 minutes left, and they're raising some money for some awesome LGBTQ plus charities. So please do go say Amazing. hi. Um, yeah, I'll get that set up just now. And otherwise, that is us. All Goodbye, right. folks. Have Viva good, Courgette good, Revolution. Good. Yep. Viva <laughs> La Courgette Revolution. See you, folks. All right. Bye.